we know that in this particular one, received of Charles H. Shield, Esquire, $1,000 being paid in full for the purchase of a Negro slave named Mary and her child, Louisiana. The right and title is said slave, I warrant, and defend against the claims of all persons whatsoever. And it's signed by William W. Hall. So Charles uh, Shield and William Hall are engaged in the transaction of Mary and her child. But this is a legal document. Think about what is the backing, what is the legal claim that this uh, receipt gives to the bearer. You know, so that there's a certain, in other words, it's kind of to demonstrate that I have the legal right uh, that I've uh, been given uh, by the seller to the ownership of Mary and her child. And the other thing, of course, that you keep receipts for is in case you have to return something. It's very similar when you think about it to the kinds of promises that you make uh, when you're buying anything. Here, there's a warrant. In other words, someone is like making a kind of authoritative uh, claim and defend against all claims of all persons whatsoever. So by that, in other words, that I have legal title to these people. And I, I warrant, I signed this in warrant that in fact I'm transferring that title uh, to the bearer. And I likewise warrant them sound and healthy uh, as witnessed by hand and seal. So they're making a claim about these people. Uh, and, and it's not surprising that they make a claim about this. As I said, the law is imbued in every aspect of slavery, including all of these kind of transfers, uh, uh, transfers, a sale of, of slaves. And there's a whole kind of a set of legal laws about, well, what would happen if you sold a slave to someone and the slave died? What if the person knew that, that they were ill? Uh, so what does it mean to say that someone is healthy? And what, what are the kinds of, you know, these things come up. The courts serve the function of making sure that the business of slavery uh, uh, proceeds in an orderly fashion. This is all about the buying and selling of people. But there's this huge set of laws that are protecting every transaction. And so a lot of this printed language is what a lot of people you know, refer to as boilerplate. Play. This is the fine print, right? the fine print of the sale of slaves that has a special meaning for every jurisdiction that this receipt is made out in. The state, whether it's Virginia here or, or elsewhere, you know, does have an interest in knowing about this, in part just to keep track, but also uh, because uh, these transactions are often, they may, they'll say paid in full, but they're really also backed by, by loans. People are buying slaves on credit. It's very speculative. And so there's, uh, there are banks, uh, insurance companies, uh, who are also have a stake in the ownership of Mary and her child, uh, Louisiana, that may go far beyond uh, Norfolk and the environs.